Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to another video. Today is all about how to decorate your bullet journal cover as well as some tips on productivity because I am so in love with my new bullet journal. It's totally keeping me on track and inspiring me to be more productive throughout my day. So here you can kind of see I've used some acrylic paint, some rhinestones to really jazz up the cover. So here is my bullet journal, like I said, I love it so, so much. Um, this is my first ever bullet journal, so I'm still kind of new to it. But if you would like more videos on that, let me know down below. So first thing you're going to need is some acrylic paint. And here I have it in henna cones. And if you don't know how to roll henna cones, check out some of my other videos. I'll link them down below. Here is some super glue and the rhinestones. So I use the super glue to put some of these rhinestones on the cover and make sure that they never come off. They're so pretty and I just love the way it looks with the acrylic paint. So here um, I used the metallic gold acrylic paint and you can get this at Michaels but I'll also link below. You can buy it off Amazon as well. It's the folk art brand. And then I used this basics um, acrylic white paint which you can also get at Michaels but I'll link below as well. So here you can kind of see I am just putting some super glue like I mentioned before on the rhinestones and from there I'm just going to decorate around it with my acrylic paint and yeah so you can be totally creative that's what I love about this. You can create whatever designs you want if you even want to trace it out first just to kind of get a rough idea but I'm just totally winging it here. Like I said, I'm in love with my bullet journal, so I really wanted to show it some love with some henna since obviously if you have been watching this channel for a while, I am a henna artist and I love all things henna. So on to the next topic, so I kind of wanted to make um, a different kind of video where I talk about a different topic while the time lapse of the henna work is going on, so you can let me know if you like this style. But I want to talk about productivity and some tips on how to be more productive if you are feeling like you're just not able to get as much done throughout the day as you would like. So my first tip, obviously, um, is bullet journaling. This is something that uh, one of my Instagram followers suggested um, to being more productive and I watched a ton of videos to kind of get a feel for what it was. I had honestly never heard about it and I just fell in love with the concept because I feel, especially if you're a creative type of person, which you probably are if you're watching this video, it is just so satisfying to be able to custom make your own kind of schedule in a very creative way and with bullet journaling there, there's really no limits. You can honestly decorate um, your trackers and your planner however you want if you want to give it certain themes and I'll link below some videos on some channels that are all about bullet journaling and what really got me inspired to start one. So definitely having a journal that can keep you in track is super super amazing for being productive and there's something really satisfying as well about just being able to check off tasks in hand you know, I personally have never been one to get into the digital planning. For me, there's just something nice about actually writing it down with a pen and paper, crossing off each task with your pen and paper as well. I don't know, it just does something for me that digital planning, I don't know, I just kind of blank out and I just never really go on there. Just something about the screen and planning, I don't know, I just much prefer the actual pen and paper style journaling. So that is tip number one, having somewhere where you can create lists and break down, you know, different goals into smaller tasks that you can accomplish day by day. So on to tip number two is to limit social media. Now I am, you know, definitely a victim of falling into the black hole of hour-long scrolling but let me tell you it is so not good for your productivity throughout the day it is so easy though to just get totally distracted by instagram and so many other social media platforms for me it's usually instagram though 
but um yeah so what i've been trying to do is to set just a little bit amount of time um, in the morning and in the night where i give myself a set amount of time that i'm able to kind of use social media and usually i will also take this time to make a post so that's something that is productive and if you know it falls in my allocated time that i have set aside for social media but throughout the day like say if you're at the grocery store or if you are getting gas or something like that um, if you want to jump on your phone then what i usually do is i try to interact more so i'm being productive by answering dms answering comments things like that so i'm using it but i'm also doing it to be more productive if that makes sense so that is really really helpful also if you're going to be doing a task try to put your phone away so that you're not even tempted um, or if it's like your TV, honestly, I don't own one. I feel like you should just throw it out because it is a total productivity, like time waster. So that is tip number two. On to tip three. Um, I also find that trying to re reward yourself for finishing tasks, tasks is very helpful. So say you have a movie to watch or you want to buy something. Um, try to make it to where you have to accomplish a set amount of goals or tasks before you actually do that. So then it'll actually be more rewarding when you do buy that thing that you've been really wanting or watch that movie that you've been really wanting to see or go out to you know a dinner to a place that you've been really wanting to try out. Try to make it to where it's more of a reward rather just you know you know just something that you just do just because you want to and that will also motivate you to be more productive throughout your day so tip number four um, try to prepare for the day the night before if you can and that's why again I also feel like the bullet journal has been really helping me to keep on track with this every night before I go to bed I will um, look over my day try to plan it um, what I want to do for the next day as well as for that day I will go to my different trackers like a habit tracker exercise tracker things like that and I will just mark it off um, if I've done it and you know just this kind of creates the framework for you to be able to get up the next morning and know what you want to do you've kind of thought about it already so you're not just kind of winging it the next day and this will help you to be able to just have that mindset for productivity and it's very very helpful to have that framework when you're trying to be more productive so uh, tip number five um, is to set big goals and individual tasks leading up to them so basically it can be a little overwhelming if you have a really really big goal to achieve to just freeze and not want to even start doing it for example like launching a website or something like that something that you know is going to take a lot of time and effort to develop it can just be overwhelming and honestly you know sometimes you just don't even want to do it or deal with it because you know it's going to take a lot of energy so what i suggest is to break down that goal into different smaller tasks and then you can kind of arrange your days of the week to where you just you know just each day you accomplish one little task and then this gradually day by day you'll be getting closer and closer to your goals and this is very very motivating to see and i i would always just have all these ideas big ideas that i wanted to do and i just never did them because it just felt like it's going to take eternity but honestly just try to have patience but also be realistic as well so if you have a goal and you're like oh i want to write a book in one month but you know maybe that's honestly not realistic so try to be realistic with your goals and each day try to just do a little bit at a time and just know that you're working your way towards reaching that bigger goal all right so tip number six which i feel is super important is to organize and clean your space regularly so i'm definitely a messy artist type <laughs> let me know down below if you are too but um 
Yeah, something about having a very clean and minimal workspace just helps your mind be at ease and more able to accomplish you know your goals and for me this also includes having a super clean kitchen so i always like to clean my kitchen the night before even though obviously i'm not waking up in my kitchen but usually one of the first things i do is go in there grab some water things like that make a cup of tea and if the kitchen is really nice and clean this really gets me motivated to start working right away being productive from the get-go so this is something that I feel is very important and is also important to do regularly because sometimes you know if you let it go too long then you can spend your whole day cleaning you know and organizing your space so rather than get distracted and sidetracked by that try to do just a little bit each day all right so tip number seven um try to say no more <laughs> and what i mean by that is try to say no to you know outings and other engagements that you feel like you're obligated to but honestly if you are a self-employed business owner you know how much time behind the scenes it takes in order to run a business successfully and a lot of times we can get sidetracked by a lot of other social engagements that we don't necessarily need to go to but we feel like we should and I know for me personally, I'm definitely a people pleaser type personality. So I always want to say yes to everything. And, you know, I just want to feel like you know, being a good friend. But, you know, it's okay to say no, uh, you know, occasionally. And if you can, um, try to make it fit maybe more in your schedule or have like one day where you allow yourself at like a social outing um, like that if you can um, for me I'm you know running my henna business takes a lot of time and effort to stay on top of things and especially if you have like big goals that you want to yet you want to achieve sometimes you you know may just have to say no just for you know a couple weeks until you accomplish those goals and then from there you can kind of get more onto your social your regular social routine um, if that helps so just just know that it's okay to say no and that will help with your productivity especially if you have larger goals that you're trying to achieve in you know a somewhat fast timeline and um, honestly what I have to say for my last tip is to just do it Honestly, um, you know, the water doesn't run unless you turn on the faucet. So basically, you have to just do the work to get your goals accomplished. And just getting in there and starting um, with small goals, you'll eventually kind of develop um, like this role, like you'll be on a roll and it'll just kind of motivate you more and more and more. And um, yeah, it just feels really, really a great um, once you start to accomplish those goals and then you'll work on to larger and larger goals. And yeah, just um, yeah, being productive, it can be challenging, but honestly, like kind of like exercise at first when you first do it, it's really, really painful. You're super sore, but um, you feel great in the end. So sometimes sacrifice, you have to sacrifice some personal pleasures in order to receive an even greater pleasure. And um, honestly, I wish the best for all of you ladies out there watching my videos and maybe some guys too. Um, and if you have any tips that you would like to share on how to be more productive, I would absolutely love to hear them. Please leave them down below. And as always, please like and share this video. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos that you would like to see me make, please leave them down below. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.